we're expecting Linda, I'm assuming. I've not heard otherwise. Okay. Um, well, I'll get going because it's five and we have a bunch of continuances to list through. Um, so welcome everybody to the January 5th Nantucket Conservation Commission meeting. This meeting is being held entirely remotely uh, with participants participating via Zoom app. Uh, the public may participate um, on YouTube and there are directions on the town's website uh, explaining how you can join. Uh, I ask that anybody wishing to speak, raise your hand either in your camera window or virtually, uh, and I will call on you as soon as possible. Um, if you are um, a member of the public, please state your full name and uh, any relationship to a project. So if you're in a butter, please straight state your address. Um, and I, if everybody could please uh, mute their devices when they're not speaking so that it's not distracting to the minutes, um, that would be great. Uh, so we will begin tonight's meeting with public meeting, public comment on items uh, not being heard this evening. Uh, RJ? Thank you, Chair Erishman, RJ Turcott for the Nantucket Land Council. Uh, Happy New Year, Commissioners. Um, I am just going to comment again this evening and request that I know there's a lot going on and the commission is very busy, but if at all possible on one of the next agendas to get this downtown stormwater issue on and discussed and moving, um, that would be really great for Harbor water quality going into next year. And also just curious if there was any sort of update on the chapter 91 situation in the letter that you guys sent last year. Thank you. Uh, thank you, RJ. Um, as far as I'm aware, we uh, did not get any response to the chapter 91 letter and that kind of uh, spurred crack to as well create a letter that was endorsed by the select board. I believe that was like the beginning of December. Um, and Ian might have more information on that crack letter, but uh, I do not believe that either has received a response. Ian, do you know about that crack letter anymore? Uh, no, I don't, Ashley. And uh, I'd made a note to myself to ask Vincent uh, next Tuesday when we meet. And um, if I, and I might ask Matt if they signed it and if it was sent. Thank you, Ian. And um, RJ, I know um, I brought up stormwater management just generally to, to Jeff in the office, I think it was last week, um, to, to bring it up for, for commission discussion to hopefully get just motion island-wide maybe starting here because it is um, a major problem, obviously for the harbor watershed, but um, it's just poorly managed everywhere. Uh, so thank you for bringing that up. Um, it does not appear that we have any public comment on YouTube. Um, Will? I just wanted to mention uh, now too that <clears throat> there's an executive session that made it onto the agenda that does not need to be there. Jeff wanted me to bring that up. Yeah, I, I saw that and I, I've, we've got to get the agendas a little bit square because it's funny, the one that was sent out to us doesn't have it listed, but the one that's yeah. posted online does. So right. um, yeah, just um, making sure to clean that up and get the executive session yeah. postings off in general. I was gonna ask the same thing tonight, so good. Yeah, um, that is was not intentional. Um, Mark Beal. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Have we heard any response from our letter to the selectman about the um, council, our, our council for the Concept Beach Friends? Um, I have not received any response. And as far as I know, it was not discussed um, at their most recent meeting, um, which quite frankly is, is pretty disheartening. Um, you know, and I, again, I guess want to say publicly that one of our conditions for extending the removal order was us being granted independent counsel. Um, so I, you know, 
Um, but no, as far as I know, they have not made any action despite saying it was gonna be on a December, I believe 15th agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, with that, if there isn't any other public comment, um, I'll go through our continuances this evening. We do have a number of continuances. Uh, so we have uh, Easton Street LLC at 55 Easton Street continued until January 19th. Uh, we have Ack Hang 10 LLC at 21 Meter Street continued until January 19th. Uh, then we have Drexler at 95 Washington Street continued until January 19th. 14 North Road LLC at 14 North Road continued until January 19th. Nantucket Boathouse LLC at 2 and 6 Easton Street continued until January 19th. Madiket Land Trust at 3 Baltimore Street continued until January 19th. 78 Walwinnet Road LLC at 78 Walwinnet Road is continuing to tell February 2nd. And then we have Gifford Carlin at 28 Sheep Pond Road continued until January 19th. Uh, so with that, we will begin our meeting under notices of intent at 36B Lily Street LLC, 36B Lily Street, represented by Brian Madden. And I'm recused from that, Madam Chair. Thank you for that reminder, Linda. Uh, thank you very much. Um... Brian Madden from LEC Environmental Consultants representing the applicants. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, based on the feedback we received at the December 22nd meeting, uh, we did submit a letter um, to address, I think, the final comment that the commission members had had uh, relative to the foundation of the uh, main dwelling. And uh, we, we are proposing as request or recommended uh, to go with a uh, elevated peer foundation. Uh, so that's replacing the uh, mono slab with helical piers um, to address some of the groundwater concerns that were uh, relayed by the commission. And uh, just to reiterate uh, th this project, there's no proposed structural elements in the 50 foot buffer zone. The, and we, in fact, have a net decrease of 74 square feet, removal of existing structure in the 50. And uh, we believe that the, the project uh, has been designed um, in compliance with the regulations and uh, will serve as a net benefit over existing conditions. And um, I guess I'll keep it short and sweet and turn over to any questions. Thank you, Brian. Uh, any questions or comments from commissioners? Uh, and I know, Brian, I appreciate you guys looking at the foundation system and changing it. Um, I think I maybe spearheaded that request a little bit. Um, Joe, I see your hand up and then Arthur, I'll, I'll go to you when we um, go to the public. It's definitely an improvement that Brian has done to that layout. Uh, I visited that site and there was a lot of water there. And it was not a rainy day like we did the meter one a couple of days ago. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any other uh, comments or questions from commissioners? All right, looks like no, so we'll open it up for public comment. Um, Arthur Reed. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I just want to confirm, uh, do I understand from this presentation that there are no longer any waivers that are requested in connection with this project? Uh, I know they moved the uh, structure outside the 50, and now the way the um, uh, foundation has been addressed, they no longer have the uh, issue of separation from groundwater. I, I believe that is correct, but um, Brian, I'll just confirm with you. Uh, through the chair, yeah, the, the only waiver uh, that I believe would be required is the um, work within the 25-foot the buffer zone for the um, 
turnout area that's within the existing way. Um, if you remember initially, that was the gravel surface we were proposing, a pervious surface. Um, and based on the feedback that we got from the commission that we, um, or the recommendation we got uh, to change it to a proposed uh, reinforced grass surface, and that's just specific to the turnout. And I believe that would be the uh, extent of the waivers needed there. Thank you, Brian. Arthur, do you have a follow-up? No, thanks. Okay, thank you. Um, any other public comment on 36B Lily Street? Looks like no. Um, Will, do we have everything we would need to close? Yes, we do. <clears throat> Brian, would you like to close? I believe so. Uh, is there a motion to close? Motion made by Joe, seconded by Seth. So by roll vote, Beal? Aye. Engelborg? Aye. Erisman, aye. Golding? Aye. Mizzarelli? Aye. Landowski? Aye. Uh, so that carries with uh, Commissioner Williams recused. Thanks Thank so much. Uh, and that moves us on to Nantucket Wales and to LLC at 43 and 45 Squam Road, also represented by Brian Madden. Thank you very much. Uh, for the record, Brian Madden from LEC representing the applicants. Uh, we presented this at the last meeting uh, for a new dwelling, barn, uh, and garage um, with some uh, landscaping, grading, and driveway utility updates. Um, we had essentially just continued the meeting uh, to wait for natural heritage. Um, and we in fact did get that uh, determination letter um, as of uh, I think around 3.30 or so this afternoon um, for the uh, no adverse effect and continuation of the conditions that were put onto the original project. Um, but uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions, but uh, I believe that um, was, was the last thing we were looking for there. Thank you, Brian. And Will, if you stop the screen share, I can see everybody. Thank you. Uh, Mark Beal, I see your hand up. Yes, if you recall, I'm abstaining from this application. Thank you for that reminder. Um, any questions or comments from commissioners? Looks like no. Um, so we'll open it, this up to public comment. The public a minute on 43 and 45 Squam Road. Um, Brian, I should just con confirm if we write it into the conditions that the barn is not to contain like livestock animals, is that okay with your client? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Okay. As long as that ex excludes pets, but yeah. <laughs> well, that's my first go round with that condition. <laughs> I just worry it's, it's close enough to the 50 that you wouldn't want like a true barn. Oh, no, no, I know. Um. So it does not appear that we have any public comment on this one. Um, Will, do we have everything we would need to close? Yes, we do. Uh, Brian, would you like to close? Uh, please. Uh, is there a motion to close? I'll make that motion, Madam Chair. I think Seth beat you with his hand. Uh, and I'll give you the second, Linda. Cool. Uh, so by roll vote, Be or excuse me, Beals abstaining. Engelborg? Aye. Erisman, aye. Golding? Aye. Mizzarelli? Aye. Landowski? Aye. Williams? Aye. All right, that carries with Commissioner Beal abstaining. Thanks so uh, much. Thank you. Uh, and that moves us on to Huckleberry Friend Trust at 13 and 17 East Tristram Avenue, represented by Art Gasparo. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I'm before the commission tonight for the second public hearing related to some modified beach stairs uh, on this property. We um, filed a uh, revised plan 
in response to the comments at the first. Thank you very much. That's very helpful um, uh, that way. And um, we filed revised plan in response to uh, comments at the first hearing. And um, the owner applicant has agreed that the set of um, aluminum stairs that are currently running to the north um, would no longer be used. Um, and we would just use the proposed set of staircase uh, aluminum stairs down over the riprap. And then we also um, reduced the uh, 12 foot long bench or so to just about four feet long, which you can see on there is just enough room for um, essentially two people or a person to sit and rest. They have um, uh, some aging family members who can still navigate the um, uh, the stairway, but it, uh, it would be nice to have a, a place that they could uh, take a break on the way up and down from there. Um, and so we've reduced that to essentially the the minimum required, we think, for, for that and maybe one person that, that might be accompanying them. Um, so it would just be sort of a standard, you know, length bench, nothing out of the ordinary, and it would be cantilevered off of um, the, um, the timber walkway that's proposed. So I believe that it had um, addressed um, the uh, the questions or comments that had come up at the first hearing, and I'd be happy to uh, address any questions or anything further. Thank you. Thank you, Art. Uh, are there any questions or comments from commissioners? Well, uh, Mark Beal. All right, your plan says the stairs are abandoned. That's not, that doesn't mean they're removed. I'd like to have that clear that they'll be removed. Through through you, Madam Chair. Yeah. They're they are removed on a seasonal basis. So the 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 um uh the point is that the use would be abandoned, that you know, clearly they can't continue to use a set of stairs that goes down there. And if you want to add a specific condition. Um, that clarifies that we would welcome in the order. We would welcome that. Uh, yeah, I think it should be clear that the stairs just will, will not be there at all. Um, I think Mark, um, Art is right. We can probably put a condition in the order that says, you know, we're only allowing one set of stairs going, I guess, to the east, if I'm correct, where this property is and yes. not, not to the north any longer. Thank you. Welcome. Any other questions or comments from commissioners? Now we'll open it up for public comment on Huckleberry Friend Trust 13 and 17 East Tristam. Does not appear that we have any public comment. Um, Will, do we have everything we would need to close? Yes, we do. Art, would you like to close? Yes, please. Is there a motion to close? So move, Madam Chair. Motion made by Linda. Is there a second? Seconded by Mike. So by roll vote, Beal. Aye. Engelborg. Aye. Garrisman, aye. Golding. Aye. Mizzarelli. Aye. Landowski. Aye. Williams. Aye. All right, that carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and that moves us on in our meeting. We don't have any amended orders, uh, no RDAs, no minor mods. So that moves us to certificates of compliance. We have the town of Nantucket at F Street. Uh, and it says represented by Smith. I'm not sure who that is or if um, Will, you'll take the cert. Yeah, I don't think that they are here, um, but this is the, I can share the plan. Oh, it's the pier? Yeah, so this was the pier. Yeah. yeah. Um, everything is as it's supposed to be. With I've, no uh, Land Rover sitting in the water next to it? Nope. <laughs> um, so, um, Will for this one have, um, I, I'm assuming you guys have been out and you um, yes. checked it and would agree the cert can be issued. Yep, all good. Um, any ongoing conditions with this one? Uh, no. 
Okay. Um, any questions or comments from commissioners? Uh, and if not, would somebody like to make a motion to issue the cert? So move, Madam Chair. Motion made by Linda. Is there a second? Seconded by Mike. Sorry, I wasn't seeing you over there. Um, by roll vote, Beal? Aye. Engelborg? Aye. Erisman, I. Golding? Aye. Mazzarelli? Aye. Landowski? Aye. Williams? Aye. That carries unanimously. Uh, and that moves us on to orders of conditions. Uh, and Will, I think you'll have to screen share because these didn't get emailed. Yep. Um, so we just have the three. I was planning on screen sharing the Word documents. I added in edits as we were going tonight. So this is the 36 Lily Street. Um, so 18 and 19 and then no FERT or other agricultural chemicals allowed within the 50 foot buffer. Applicant shall present a yearly report, including photographs demonstrating the condition and survivorship of the buffer zone restoration plantings. Should the commission determine that additional plantings are necessary, they will be authorized based on this discussion. And then 22, 22 that all restoration plantings are to be native species with no cultivars. Um, and condition 19 needs to be fixed. Thank you, Will. I have one question, if I may, uh, Ashley. Yep, go ahead, Mark. Is there anything to prevent us from saying a uh, number 20 condition that uh, changed that from 50 to 100 feet? Um, this area is chronically wet, and I would be very unhappy to have fertilizer and other chemicals within uh, the 100 foot zone where that's, this is located. It's just a, a, a very, very wet zone. I would propose we, that we do that if it's uh, something within our, our power. Um, I mean, I'd like to see that it, everywhere anyway, um, just to protect some of these wetland buffers. How do other uh, commissioners feel here? It is, I mean, it's wet. I think we're well within our uh, capacity to do that. And I think it makes sense ecologically as well. Okay, perfect. Um, so well, maybe let's change that to yeah. um, the 100 foot. Awesome. Um, any other amendments, questions, comments? Looks like no. Oh, sorry, Madam Chair. Yep, go ahead, Seth. What do we feel about lighting conditions for this uh, property? Um, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, we don't want them certainly like trying to light up that parking spot or yeah, light towards. Um, or towards the grass path that they're trying to maintain. We don't want any of that. Yeah, no, you're right. And the wetland is right there. So uh, we probably should have our lighting condition in there. Yeah, let me. And Joe, I see your hand up. I just want to give Will time, like us time to process this one and then go to the next one. <laughs> oh yeah, don't worry. You can even go on to the next one if you want. I, I just all, have all a I document was, that I keep these in. All I was going to say is number 20 should get corrected so it doesn't look like 10,050 feet. Yeah. Oh yeah, so that's just the, the editing text on Microsoft Word. I just have to go through and accept all these edits and it it won't look like that anymore. Good. Um, but thank you for um, checking up on that stuff. Yes. I lose the ability at the end of the school day. Um, all right, so we're waiting to get our lighting condition on there. Um, any other questions, comments, amendments? All right, so if not, I know Will's getting that up there now. Would somebody yeah. like 
Seth, do you Sorry, have yeah, just like because this comes up again uh, with the land subject to flooding, just in, in this case, it needs to be directed away from the bordering vegetated wetland. Away from the... All right. Um, all right. So if there aren't any other amendments, um, would somebody like to make a motion to issue as amended? A motion made by Mike. Is there a second? Seconded by Joe. So by roll vote, Beal. Aye. Engelborg. Aye. Erisman, aye. Golding. Aye. Zarelli? Aye. Landowski? Aye. Williams? Oh, you're muted, Linda. Oh, you're recused from this anyway. Sorry. I'm recused. I already forgot. <laughs> oh, it's been a long week at school. Um, <laughs> all right. So that carries with Commissioner Williams recused. Um, and that moves us on to Aquil's end um, at 43 and 45. Squam Road. Ah, uh, so how would we like to word condition 20? Um, yeah, I mean, hmm. that was the best I came up with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that kind of covers it. Good. It should probably have a comma, maybe not to include household, traditional household pets or something along those lines. Right. Uh, you think that'll be more specific? I mean, I don't think a pet is a livestock, but yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> we could just hey, say you have a pet uh, chicken. True. Well, I don't think there should be chickens there either, even if it's a pet, but we could just say the barn is not to contain livestock or be used for agricultural purposes. That's a good one, Seth. I like that. What if I had a support pig? <laughs> <laughs> Emotional support pig. I've seen a support peacock. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> Those support pigs get big quick. <laughs> yeah. Unless there's a little tiny pop bellies. Those are really cute. Um, oh, in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. Um, pigs are really smart. They're smarter than dogs, so they are cool to have around. But, um, they are very smart. Um, any other amendments, questions, comments on this one? No. Um, I'm wondering, should we have the lighting condition on this one too with some of the new development and its proximity to the wetland? I think we should include that every time we do something that's in proximity, that's sort of a high residential use kind of thing. I think we should do that every time. No, I would agree with you, Linda. Um, I, I think um, lighting has become more of an issue just everywhere um, yes. on island. And they got this little fancy lighting with trees. They light up a bush. They all kinds of crazy stuff's going on with the lighting these days. It's almost become a, an art form in the yard. Yes. Directly into the sky. Exactly. Um, all right. Th thank you for putting that in. So um, if there's nothing else, does somebody want to make a motion to issue as amended? I'll make that motion, Madam Chair. Second. Linda, seconded by Mike. So by roll vote, Beal. Abstain. Uh, forgetting everything tonight. Engelborg. <laughs> Aye. Erisman I, Golding. Aye. Zarelli. Aye. Landowski. Aye. Williams. Aye. So that carries with Commissioner Beal abstaining. Yeah. Um, and that moves us on to Huckleberry Friend Trust at 13 and 17. East Tristam. So this one I added in the 
Only one set of beach chairs shall be allowed. The existing seasonal staircase to the north shall be removed. Yeah, there's no real lighting issue here. Right. Yeah, there, there shouldn't be anyway. Yeah. There's we'll no see that in two seconds. There's no proposal <laughs> for lighting. So if it pops up. Yeah. It'd to be very obvious too. Yeah. Um, any questions, comments, amendments? Uh, and if not, I guess you did amend this one kind of as we were here. Would somebody like to make a motion to issue as amended? I'll make that motion, Madam Chair. Motion made Second. by Lisa, seconded by Mike. So by roll vote, Beal. Oh, you're muted. Hi. Uh, sorry. That's all right. Hi. Uh, Erisman, aye. Golding. Aye. Uh, Rally. Aye. Uh, Landowski. Aye. Uh, Williams. Aye. Uh, Right, that carries unanimously. Uh, we don't have any extension uh, orders tonight. So that moves us on to other business, approval of minutes from the December 22nd meeting. Um, thank you, Terry, for those minutes. Um, I don't know if commissioners who were there, if you uh, notice anything that needed to be amended. And if not, would somebody like to make a motion to issue as or accept as um, drafted. So Motion. move, Madam Chair. I'll second that. Okay. Um, so by roll vote, Beal? Aye. Engelborg? Abstain. Erisman, aye. Golding? Abstain. Mizzarelli? Aye. Landowski? Aye. Williams? Aye. All right, so that carries with Commissioners Engelborg and Golding abstaining. Uh, and that moves us on to discussion of regulatory update. Um, so I know I um, went into the office and I've kind of talked to both Jeff and Will about how to make sure this keeps progressing forward. Um, I know we did have a like third draft, I believe that was sent out to us in December. And essentially for us to move this forward, we would, um, if we feel ready, need to make um, you know, a motion then to send this off to town council for review and to schedule a public meeting. Um, the one thing I brought up uh, recently that could maybe dovetail in there is um, a tie to a stormwater management document um, that I know Jeff and I talked about, but he's not here. So I don't know if anybody has questions about the regs update um seth thank you madam chair and to all the commissioners and staff for their hard work on this but respectfully i don't feel ready i think that we're like 95 percent of the way there but the one major um issue that we have hinted on and talked on and never discussed is the potential change to the buffer zones and increasing um, you know, or pushing the zones farther back out into where activities could be allowed. Um, so without that discussion and coming to a conclusion on that, I, won't, I wouldn't want to schedule the public hearing before that. I think we need to have one more meeting to just hammer down that, and then I'd be ready to go to the public hearing. Okay. Um, no, and I think it would be good to maybe talk about how some of these stormwater regs might be able to connect if possible. Um, does everybody else kind of feel that way that we need one more go and then send it off? Okay, I'm all right with that. If he feels more comfortable with that. Okay, I see Mike sh shaking your head, yes. Um, so, Will, maybe we can... Um, send an email around for a, another special meeting. I know the next two Thursdays are booked. Yeah. But then maybe the th third one is maybe free. So um, we can get that scheduled as soon as possible to make sure yeah. that we're not dragging on this. Yeah, I wrote a note. Did you say, did you say Thursday or Tuesday, there. Ashley? I said Thursday. Okay, because I can never come to anything on a Tuesday because of HTC. Um, thank you for that reminder. Um, no, I, I was hoping to keep this to 
Thursdays if possible. Um, yeah. But we've got a lot going on with our scheduling. So, um, all right. So um, we'll kind of table that and wait for scheduling. Um, we have enforcement action, potential enforcement action. Um, I was just going to give an, a super quick update. Um, the two gully road enforcements have all been sent out uh, two days ago, so it couldn't be for this meeting. Um, so they will, they've been asked to appear before the commission uh, on the meeting on the 19th. Okay. Uh, thank you, Will. That's what I got. <laughs> uh, Linda? I was called over the weekend by somebody who lives in Sconset. And they gave me more details on just exactly how that happened and when exactly it happened. He and his wife were walking um, after Thanksgiving on that Saturday, um, trying to work off Turkey. And they walked up there and down um, Ocean Avenue, Gully Road, then down into Codfish. They didn't see a work truck. There was no identifying anything involved. There were two guys out there in the pucka bushes with chainsaws. And they stood there and they watched them and couldn't understand what was happening. But they seemed to be two random guys, not associated necessarily with a, one of the reputable landscape um, people that know better. On sort of the closing in on the late in the afternoon when it was getting a little darker with their chainsaws, thinking nobody was going to see them. That's how that happened. Um, yeah. Do we, do we have, do we know who they were yet? I, I, I think Will has uh, tracked that information down and I think it'll probably come to light on the 19th when they kind of get their presentation together, but it does sound like they've identified who did that work. Because okay. they need to be gone after because they know better. They should know better unless it was two random guys. No, but anyone doing it like that knows better because they're trying not to get caught. You don't cut big trees without a truck. You know, like you're, you're I don't know. Well, they left them there. They just left them there. Yeah. yeah and but... the other thing is, is that um, people have been asking me about it since I was quoted so beautifully in the current last week. Um, how do I really feel? They asked me, are we going to plant, going to force them to plant those trees back taller? It would never Since survive he did it for the going, going in the ground over there. Yeah, so that's all like stuff we should probably wait to discuss and tell they're here in front of us, you know, and we yeah. have a, a plan. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, a, a realistic restoration plan is something that probably would be coming through. I'm just, I'm still apart, just looking at it. It's like, it, it's like a cut, just a, a razor blade cut. I, I went it's out just, there. it's hard to even describe what it looks like when you stand there. I, I was lucky enough to go out when Will and Morgan from Natural Resources were actually surveying and trying to count the tree stumps, um, which good on them because it <laughs> was quite the nightmare to sort through uh, and quite dangerous yes. out there for whoever yeah. did that initial work. Yeah, um, they just left the stumps. Oh. Um, but it looks like we'll have more uh, information on the 19th. Yes, more to come. That is my update. <laughs> um, so I had a question about enforcements. I know, I think I only asked Jeff this when I was in the office, but um, the house that's on cribbing, like way at the end of Hummock Pond, uh, I think we need an enforcement. I am incredibly concerned that erosion is going to take that structure and there's been no action to move it off the site. Um, this is the one at the end on the right. Yeah, that's uh, on. Moth, yeah. Like mothball, you got to go. Yep, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah. He was supposed to move it across the street, and then the guy reneged on him moving it across the street. Right. And I, I know they're having logistic um, issues, but um, it, so. it's got to get out of there. Yeah, we can't leave that. Um, no, it won't survive. No. Um, and then it'll be a nightmare to remove from the beach. So, um, well, I don't know if you guys can look into that or um, if yeah. we need to actually issue an enforcement to get action. Yeah, we can um, we can figure that out tomorrow. Morgan and I actually were out that way last week and we went by that exact house because 
I remembered you bringing it up. Um, something needs to happen. Yeah. So. Um, thank you. We'll figure that out in the morning. Um, so if there's no other enforcement issues, uh, we have reports crack. Uh, Nothing to report. Okay, thank you, Ian. Uh, CPC? Nothing to report. Uh, NP and EDC? Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, we had our December meeting and uh, of particular importance was the consultants for the town, Weston and Sanchez, presented their draft of the open space and recreation plan. Um, and one thing particularly struck me, Will, can you share your screen? So um, if you look there under municipal land, under Town of Nantucket Conservation Commission lands, according to this report, uh, the Conservation Commission, i.e. us, holds six parcels of land totaling 24.49 acres on Nantucket. I was not aware of this. I'm not sure if any of the commissioners were aware of this, um, but I think we should have, we should direct our staff to work with the assessor's office to track down what these parcels are um, and where they are. And then we should, we should schedule a possibly separate meeting or at least an agenda item with a discussion on what to do with them. Um, whether that ends up us retaining ownership and doing something or transferring ownership to a better served entity, we should have that discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Seth, um, for bringing this to our attention. I know at least once when I was on the commission and this was fairly early on, there was a land transfer that took place with something that maybe we had a conservation restriction on, like it wasn't maybe total land ownership, um, but something maybe kind of similar. So um, thank you for this. Thank you. And I know I've mentioned this before, but potentially not um, since our newest commissioners have been on board. So the history of the Conservation Commission, commissions in all of the state predates the Wetlands Protection Act. It goes back to the Conservation Commission Act. And the original idea for conservation commissions was to hold, preserve, uh, uh, protect land for a variety of reasons. Um, most towns, conservation commissions actually act in that fashion, but since Nantucket has the land bank, our conservation commission, at least in my knowledge, has historically not acted in that fashion. We focused our efforts mainly on the wetland resources that we were then later charged to protect. I think we need a discussion on whether we want to, you know, revisit acting in that type of role that other commissions in the state act in, or if it's better for other organizations on island to do so. But first let's find the parcels and then let's talk about what to do with them. Thank you. Thank you, Seth. And I know you have brought that up in the past. Um, and I think it is an important discussion item. I know I would, I would love to take more on. I just don't know what our kind of capacity is sometimes. So. Um, thank you for bringing that up. And um, Will, I don't know that it will go on the next meeting, but hopefully one of the next um, meeting or two. Yeah. And I think um, before that, even I can shoot an email to the assessor's office and see if there's easy to find record of this so we can figure out where the where the parcels are and whatnot. We can start holding our meetings there instead of. The yeah. If we're in person. <laughs> Nope. I mean, <laughs> the open meeting law just says any publicly accessible location. So technically, right. we should we check the box. <laughs> um, all right. Thank, thank you for that, Seth. Um, that moves us on to commissioner's comments. Um, Seth, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, just quickly, and not to say that anybody has done anything wrong, but um, I would just request that all of the commissioners 
uh, review the, the purposes of recusal versus abstaining and make sure you're using the right one. Um, you know, recusal has a specific purpose related to conflict of interest. Uh, abstention can be sort of used for any reason. Um, and we want to make sure we're in compliance. If you need to recuse, that you're actually recusing. So just review the definitions. The town on their uh, website about boards, committees, and commissions has a helpful guide to look at. Um, we'll just make sure we're getting it right. Thank you. Thank you, Seth. Um, and Linda, I saw your hand pop up. Yeah, I've got a new computer. So my hand came down like 10 seconds before you saw it. It's just so weird. Um, I'm to, I've got two things. The second, what Seth just said, recusal is when you have a conflict of interest. If you abstain under recent um, town council ruling on a, another board that got into trouble with this on the HDC, abstain is still counted as the vote. It's still counted as you are participating in the hearing. If you have a conflict and you don't want to vote, then it has to be a recusal, not an abstention. So I second what Seth had to say. Um, wonderful meeting, Madam Chair. 45 minutes, 46 minutes, and we're out. I know we're, we're close. Um, thank you, Linda. Um, I know I just have one comment. I, I missed some public comment at the beginning of the meeting. Um, I know Jeff sent around a letter uh, or an email today trying to schedule or reschedule the select board as we are trying to get a joint meeting. Um, but the days next week, um, we couldn't get quorums of either board. So that's still out there. Um, and to my knowledge, um, we have not received a removal order plan. Is that true, Will? Uh, yes, to, to my knowledge, unless Vince has got something in the last couple days that I don't know about, um, but I do not believe we have. Okay, um, thank you for that. Um, Diane Coombs, do you have like a procedural question? You're muted if you're trying to talk. Hi. I, Hi. I'm sorry. It's been a hectic day in my house. And I tried to get that. I thought we were doing meter street today. Is that not right? So they, they continued just before the meeting. So we'll hear them again on January 19th. Oh, okay. Very good. Then I can say good night to you all. <laughs> good night. Good, good night. night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um, all right, guys. So if there's no more commissioner comment, um, I think I expressed my, um, just how upset I am, I guess, with the select board for not giving us counsel at the beginning, but that, that still stands for me. Um, we'll move on to administrator staff reports. Will, anything to report? I believe we have covered the major things already. Um, I don't have much to report except for Happy New Year and nice short meeting. Perfect. I know. After <laughs> a long, long one. So um, everybody just be checking your emails for some of those scheduling uh, emails. And then we do still have SBPF on for next Thursday, the 12th. So keep that on your radar. Um, so that meeting is still taking place then, Madam Chair? I mean, it's still on the schedule. So okay. I, I say everybody needs to assume it's happening until the applicant, you know, officially requests it to move somewhere else. Okay. Um, all right. So we're at that point in the meeting. Does somebody want to make a motion to adjourn? So um, move, Madam Chair. I'll second Seth's motion. All right. Seth got the motion. You second. Uh, by roll vote, Beal? Uh, where did the executive session go, Ashley? We, we don't have one. I vote aye. Uh, Engelborg? Aye. Thank you. Happy New Year. Erisman, aye. Golding? Aye. Mizzarelli? Aye. Landowski? Aye. Williams? Aye. All right. Our meeting is adjourned, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.